Welcome. Today's video, let's talk about microworm culturing. Got to get my uh, plug in there. All right. There's only a couple things I always, always culture. Um, microworms are one of them. The others are uh, Daphnia and white worms, but I always culture microworms. And the reason being is just they're so easy that it's they're almost indispensable. Um, I feed these to pretty much any fish guppy size or smaller. So it's just a really great food source, particularly uh, you know, if you're keeping smaller animals, um, it's great fry food, great fry food. And this is just my culture. It's, it's fairly large. It's a, uh, what is this a sweater box? Um, and that's my culture. All right. How do I make this? I'm going to keep this simple. This is a very simple culture. All right. Yellow cornmeal is the uh, base of this, all right? That's why it's so yellow. And I get it wet, all right? Moisture isn't overly critical, um, just nice and wet. Uh, this will have a little um, sitting moisture. And then, you know, you'll want to use aged uh, water, obviously. And then start out with a very light pinch of uh, yeast. You can get this in any grocery store. Um, very light pinch. And then as your culture gets a little larger, you can add a little bit more. Uh, every once in a while, a culture may not take, you know, something just mold or something gets in it. But generally, very easy to start. And that's it. Yellow cornmeal, some aged water and a little yeast. All right, I'm gonna harvest. And what you're looking at is pretty much how it always looks. You'll see the worms climbing up the edge. And that's what I harvest from, okay? So I'm gonna use whatever tool, you know, like a, any sort of card works, like a uh, business card, driver's license, uh, credit card. Uh, pretty much anything works for harvesting. Then you'll just scrape them off. Um, here, let's do it. Um, I feed these to my shrimp. Pretty much everything will eat them. All right. And understand this is a lot of worms. <laughs> All right. So this culture is actually pretty huge. Probably only need like a uh, uh, sandwich size Tupperware container. All right, and I just have a glass of water here and I'm just gonna dip these worms into it just for funsies. And they sink. It's probably uh, just a little bit of a shortcoming. So you'll have to be careful if you're feeding these in tanks that have substrate, but if fish can get to them, they will eat them. Uh, all right. Again, probably one of the things I always culture just because of how easy they are, how useful they are. A little on the small side, but it, it, it they're a great fry food. Here, I'll, I'm going to harvest some more. Because I will feed my shrimp with these now. So there are thousands and thousands of microworms in there now. Hey, one of the best things about these cultures, I hope you're still listening because I'm going to tell you the, the funnest thing to do. These cultures, and it probably, this is probably their biggest downfall, is they smell. And they smell really bad. And the older they get, the worse they smell. So at a, if you're having a party or something, 
ask your drunk friend to take a whiff of it, all right? And just open it up and let them put their nose in it. And uh, it's always a great reaction. All right, there we go. Microworm culturing. Really nothing more to it.